to a very overcast Monday morning here in Southwest Florida. Today I have several tasks that I want to accomplish. Um, I got to fertilize the peppers in pepper row and I want to remove all of my cold season crops or cool season crops rather that um, I still have. And then I have some tomatoes plants that um, I planted extras that I don't want to throw away and I don't have anybody to give away to, so I want to plant those as well. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get started. So in my watering can, I have two gallons of water. This is the fruit and flower version of the AgroThrive uh, organic liquid fertilizer that you have heard me talk about. If you're interested in getting this, there's a link in the comment section of the video, the uh, description section of the video, or you can go to my website and order it. So eight ounces that I'm pouring in. And I'm also going to use some of Jack's Bloom Buster, uh, especially designed for flowers and fruit. I'm going to put two scoops in. going to mix it up and we're ready to go Okay, first plant we're going to get rid of is my spinach. It has started to bolt and turn colors. This is the remaining of the giant spinach. Next thing we're going to do is harvest this Emiko cabbage. Hey, this is kind of like a Napa cabbage. Put that there for now.
Okay, these are, I don't know if you can see them, but kohlrabi that I planted. And they're not doing well, so I'm going to remove them also. This is one of my late season broccoli plants. Okay, that takes care of that one. The bucket next to it had cauliflower in it, but it died. Okay, I have two more Brussels sprouts to, plants to remove. I'm going to trim up my um, kale and we're going to keep that one for now. That's one. I'm going to cut the stalk out of this one because I do have some Brussels sprouts that I want to try to harvest. I have a few, so I'm going to try to harvest these. And that's all of the removing for now, except for trimming up the kale. Okay, in this raised bed, I have some radishes that I planted, uh, two different types. One is dragon 
So I have some, I have some that need to be harvested, so we're going to do that. a nice big red one. And here's another variety, but I can't remember what type it is, and I don't see it at the steak. But it's purple with a nice big radish. Maybe the rest of these aren't ready, so I'm going to leave these to get bigger. These are okra plants that I planted as along as well, so hopefully now that they're not being shaded out, they'll be able to grow. So I'm going to take these inside and wash them up and let you see how pretty they, they look. Well, here's today's harvest. We have a Emiko cabbage up in the left-hand corner. We have a, a little container with my Brussels sprouts. We have cucumbers. We have a couple spears of okra. We have dragon radish and forget the name of the purple radish. And we also have some more cucumbers and tomatoes. So. All in all, a good harvest. I'm happy with it and thankful for God for allowing me to grow it. Well, I want to thank you for coming along with me while I did this little task today. Um, I am very appreciative of it. Thank you for watching. If you got anything out of it, that's fantastic. Give me a big thumbs up. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel at this time, please consider doing so. As you can see, I can grow a lot of vegetables and plants by myself, but I cannot grow the channel without your help. I know I'm using YouTube. A lot of you watch my channels, watch my videos, and I'm happy with that. Um, go ahead and subscribe, and I think you'll be happy with my content. If you're interested in any of the items that I used in the video, you can go to my Amazon storefront or you can go to my website. You can also reach me 
at on Facebook in my small space gardening group. So until next time, always remember, even in small spaces such as mine, you can grow a great amount of food for yourself and your family. Until next time, stay strong, stay blessed, and grow, grow, grow.